we will move on to specifying the traction boundary conditions. Let me go back to that particular PowerPoint slide. So first we will specify the pressure due to the propellant, that's the hot gas. It's calculated using 1D gas dynamics, um, and the details are given in Andy's Excel file, which is provided to you as a download. And it varies in the axial direction. Okay, so it varies in this direction. And so I'll go back to mechanical and specify that pressure. Here's mechanical. And I will highlight static structural and select loads pressure. And I have to select all the faces that are exposed to the hot gas. Um, so let me do that. I'll minimize this, I'll minimize this. And I will make sure that face selection filter is selected, select that. So let me select those faces. Those are the inside faces of the nozzle. So I'll select those first. Then there are faces, you know, in this region that we need to select that are exposed to the hot gas. So first, let's select the faces on the lower nozzle. Uh, click on this surface and say, right click and say, hide all other bodies. Click here and then hold down the control key um, and zoom in. So zoom in and then hold down the control key and select these faces. Okay, beyond this, you know, we don't want gas to escape, so there's no pressure over there. And say apply. So you should have eight phases now. And then there's a corresponding phase on the upper nozzle. So let me go uh, and say show all bodies. Click on this surface and say hide all of the bodies. Click here then hold down the control key and click on this face and say apply so that you know so that face is also exposed to the um, to the hot gas and i'll say show all bodies and for magnitude i will say tabular since i want it to vary in the z direction and i'll bring the tabular data in and I want it versus independent variable versus Z. Okay, that's the axial coordinate. And at the exit, which is Z equal to zero, the pressure is 12.17 PSI. And make sure that you have the right units here. And then at the top, where the gas comes into the the mid nozzle, we have the pressure as 47.72. Okay, and these values are given in the problem statement also. And then I can go in and then I also need to specify the you know that this is turned on in the second load step. So I'll go to graph controls and change x-axis to time and say that you know so in the first load step we don't apply the pressure we just look at the effect of tightening the bolt or the bolt pretension and then in the second load step it's turned on so at the end of the second load step the pressure is is applied is completely applied and then at the end of uh, the third load step, and in the third load step, it stays on. And I can review that using the graph. So you know, if I bring the graph in and move this over here, it shows me that, okay, it's not turned on in the first load step. At the end of the second load step, it's fully applied. So when you're looking at the the solution at the end of the second load step, you have the full effect of the pressure, and then you have it stays turned on at the in the third load step. And I can also look versus Z. Okay, that's just giving me a graphical representation of that from zero to 
160. And if I minimize these, I can also see that if I zoom out, okay, it's it's giving me the variable load pressure and for instance it says that the minimum value is here and it's around 12.17 so that's a good way to check you know that variable um, pressure so I'll just zoom out here and zoom into the nozzle nozzle area and say file save project 